Hi there, Robin Blackburn McBride here. I'm here to speak with you about a subject that is certainly near and dear to my heart. And I think you will agree that it's important to you as well. It's about an aspect of a life well lived and it's simply this, passion. As a life coach and a transformation specialist helping people transform areas of their life in beautiful ways. You know, I could be speaking with you about a number of things in a video like this. I could be talking about courage and uh, clarity, and I could be speaking of persistence, service to others, service to the greater good, etc., etc. I'm choosing to speak about passion because in creating a series of short videos that are really designed to help you embrace and embody you, that is to say the you you feel you've come to be, uh, passion is so personal, it's foundational, and it's absolutely vital to wholeness. We are currently living in a culture that can cause us to leave passion behind. Uh, there are well-meaning individuals around us uh, doing very, very important work in the world who will actually give us the message that passion is childish, you know, that it's superfluous, a kind of bonus, and that at a certain point in life, it's important to leave it behind and, and assign greater value to other things. Um, that becomes an experience of going from week to week, fulfilling to-do lists. And when you are in a position to look back on your week and say, you know, wow, I had 30 minutes of work this week that really felt passionate to me. I really felt aligned with my passion for an hour this week. Well, over time, week after week, that's a real deficit situation when it comes to a vital life force energy that is yours by your birthright. And what that really does is cause fatigue. We get tired uh, living that way. When you live aligned with passion, it means that you're connected with juice, with vital life force energy. A definition of healthy is simply this, wholeness, wholeness. When you and I feel whole and complete, passion is part of that picture. And by the way, I'm not talking about, uh, when I say passion, I'm not talking about thrill-seeking, escapism, you know, anything reckless that would not be in service of a vision. I'm really talking about healthy passion. It's a vital key to you connecting with your sense of purpose in this lifetime. So how do we know when we are lined up with passion and when we have access to that life force energy? Well, first of all, we know it by the feeling tone. The actions that we're involved in feel like they have electricity. They, they cause us to feel an amplified sense of aliveness. And uh, very often a, a common feature when we're coming from passion is to lose track of time. So that's a wonderful way that we know that we're acting out of passion. Passion is a generative force. Uh, so that kind of enthusiasm, by the way, the, the um, root meaning of the word enthusiasm is really divine spark, the divine spark within. And when we are combining that divine spark with imagination, we're capable of bringing things into form that were never in form before. So we're talking here about a very important creative component. It's a potent creative element in this universe. Passion is also a guidepost. It indicates that we are in sync with, on track with uh, the soul's wishes for us in this lifetime. So right now I would like to give you several, three, uh, action steps that you can take to align with your passion and really come into a greater state of amplified aliveness as you take action for your vision. And the very first step is simply to be aware of what are your passions. You know, maybe it's been a while since you did an inventory of your passions. So what are they? Write them down. I encourage you to write down your passions in a journal. And um, if you don't know what they are, and this is not uncommon, by the way, a lot of people will come to a call with me and tell me, I just don't know what my passion is anymore. <laughs> you know, go back to childhood. 
Go back to childhood and write about experiences that you had when you were a little kid that were highly calibrated. Or you, there still is a child back there in your life experience who has keys for you. Okay, so write about that. If you do not have a daily journal practice, I highly encourage you to develop one. It's just so powerful when it comes to taking creative charge of your life. And if you'd like some help with that, I wrote a book about it. It's called Bird Light, Freeing Your Authentic Creativity. And I'll put a link to the book in the comments so you can see a little bit more about that. I also want to add that if you would like to get in touch with me and talk about your particular situation and something that you would love to transform in your life, uh, reach out to me by email robin at robinblackburnmcbride.com and let me know and uh, I'll do my best to schedule a call with you. All right, so number one, know what your passions are. Number two uh, is simply take an inventory of your schedule and I'm sure you've realized by now that your schedule translates to your life. <laughs> so do that. Have a look at your schedule and see where in your day and in your week are you honoring passion, this life force. And once you've done that, that brings me to number three, which is uh, ask yourself, what could you be doing more of in your day and in your week to align with your passion? And what could you be doing less of in your day and in your week that would help you to better connect, to free up space for you to be aligned with life force energy? All right, until next time, be who you are, love what you do, and sing your song, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now. Be well.